let's talk about something we didn't have as a topic for quite a while. Two-factor authentication. Some of you already heard about that. Most likely you heard about it. This is like the condom for the internet. So if you're working online or in a browser, can log in from anywhere on the planet. And the point is whoever would have your password could log into your account, cloud account, your Facebook account, your Twitter account, anything. You sometimes experience that your friends wrote, my Facebook account has been hacked, my Google account has been hacked. They did not hack your account, your password. Launch order confirmed. Holy shit. Yes or you did not have a two-factor authentication. It's like, like the transaction you know from your bank account. You receive an SMS or you have like a generator app that changes the code every like here minute. Consider your email account as your ID on the internet. You can reset every, almost every account with your email account. So whoever has your password to the emails would also then be able to reset all the other passwords you have. It's probably gonna be a bad day and if you don't use a two-factor authentication to secure that account it's your own fault if that account is hacked because it's quite easy to get your password or to guess your password okay so let's have a look here i will show it to you on the on the google browser because we were completely online and if i now click on that and i say you need to get access in chrome for that so i click here and i say great my email address is and my password is password one two three four no, it's not, obviously. It sends me a message on my phone trying to sign in from another computer. If I click no, it will not be possible. If I click yes, it logs me in. And if I lost the device or if I want to use a different method, I can say try another way to sign in. And then I can also send an SMS to my phone. And now I'm locked into that browser, which gives me access to everything. It's not a Google related thing. This is something you could do with, um, I do that with Snapchat, I do that with Facebook, I do it with Twitter. There is a website called twofactorout.org that lists all the services that enable two-factor authentication. Similar on, on any device or on any computer, you would go to the settings, your account, security settings, and there it says two-step verification, you can even use a security key, like a hardware key to, to sign in these days. You have to imagine it's like a, um, a little USB device you, you plug into the computer and only if you hold the button in that moment. Insert launch key. Stand by. Launch key inserted. You can then authenticate Facebook, Twitter, Google, enable you to connect other accounts and say, I want to authenticate through these accounts. Then these connected accounts use the two factor of Facebook, Twitter, or Google. So that's a good thing to do. Um, I most of the times use my Gmail account, my Google account to do that. Um, sometimes the Facebook account if nothing else is possible. And if you run a company in a business and you don't invest the time that your employees use two-factor authentication, then please don't whine in the end. Don't complain if you have been hacked and it was the password or maybe the insecure account of one of your employees. That was a short work tools one, but to me a very important one. So um, I hope it was helpful. It's like a one minute investment in, into security. No reason not to do it. See you next week. And now I need to clean up this mess. Oh, and if you wonder why I have condoms in my office, there is another video. Check it out. Hat sich mal ein Kondom mit der Nase aufgeschüttet? Nee. Muss die Brille aufziehen. Hände rein. Am besten ist die über einer. Ja, das Silikon bleibt geht drauf. Hinten. 